What's up guys, you know, so because last video I talked about why I thought that uh, Top Coder was better than Code Forces, today I'm going to talk about why I believe Ad Coder is better than Code Forces. And here I'll give a few reasons why. Alright, first of all, if you look at Ad Coder, most of the time I have to wake up at 7 a.m. to go on to do a contest at Ad Coder. Well, if you look on Code Forces, I have to wake up at 4 a.m. to go on a to go and do this contest so if i go on if i compete on ad coder i get three more hours of sleep so that's actually a good benefit comparing to doing code forces contests at 4 a.m in the morning but anyway besides the time zone i'll give you a re another a good reason why i think ad coder is better so if you go on ad coder most of these problems that you see on ad coder well um they're pretty short and what do I mean by that? I mean like the problem statements. So like if I go on like one of these, this, we go on this problem statement, right? It's just like you have a, a length a and integer x. Move all elements that are equal to x from a. See, that's a pretty short, short problem statement. Whereas if I go on code forces and I look at a problem statement, there's always a bunch of Alice and Bob and all this, all this uh, story I have to read. Like if I go here, shifting stacks. You know, there's a lot of stories I have to read. Um, this might not be a big story, uh, actually. Yeah, this is a huge story. Like, oh, like crap. There's some houses, and I have a friend, and then I don't know. Alice and Bob does some stuff. I mean, this hurts my brain. You know, if you go on Ad Coder, the problem statements are really short, and I don't have to deal with Bob or Alice. So that's pretty good. Why I think Ad Coder is better. So another thing that I think why Ad Coder is better than Code Forces is because Ad Coder has a lot of math problems. It's something to do that uh, code force is starting to change by incorporating more math problems but a lot of ad coder problems are re really just math and i think the reason why is because i think the japanese really love math but anyway if we just go to ad coder regular contest um 113 here uh find the number of triplets but a b and c such that a b c is less when you go to k and the two triplets are disordered uh ordered by a number that are distinguished only differ in one See, that's, that's, that is very hard. These are combinatorics problems. So these are math combinatorics problems. Whereas if you go on code forces, uh, they don't really ask these type of problems. Most of the problems are like ad hoc. Like the, at least division 2A and 2B, they're mostly ad hoc or, or um, you know, basic number theory problems. They're not really these difficult combinatorics problems because combinatorics is really hard. And I think the Japanese really like that. So um, another good thing why I think ad coder is better than code force is because if you go on the ad, sometimes, sometimes they almost never post the editorial and that's actually pretty fine. Like if we go on like um, a beginner contest 128, they didn't, oh here, someone posted the editorial here. But like normally they post the editorial like weeks later. Um, we could actually go on uh, 113. Let's see if they post the editorial for this one. Oh, so here it says no editorial yet. Overall, no editorial yet. But uh, only the users who actually, who are pretty nice, who decide to post an uh, official editorial for them for some of the problems who actually solve them. So that's good on the users. The good idea is that ad coder editorials, they're mostly in Japanese, like the actual editorial. They don't really have those. So um, if you enjoy Japanese and you like to read Japanese, I guess you would love to do look at the editorial for ad coder but besides that besides that sometimes editorials are a little late and stuff like that uh ad coder is pretty good because um yeah because of the math problems and stuff like that and also another good thing about ad coder is that if you look at their rating system you know look at this everyone starts out low and they have to get to high right and um your your your, your rating distribution does, it has to converge only after 10 ratings so it's a good idea because here if I look at ad coder on code forces, it's more like everyone starts out 1400 and then you drop your rating, your rating drops. Whereas ad coder, I have to increase my rating. See, like in, in code forces, I, everyone starts out 1400 and then it just drops down. And then somehow sooner or later I get back up. But on ad coder, you know, you just have every, since everyone is starts bad, they get better and they increase the rating that actually tries to have people to do more contests, you know, to improve the rating. Because your rating isn't the actual rating that you solved okay so that's a good thing about ad coder another good thing about ad coder is that there's a brown there's the brown color is right after gray so if i want to reach green i have to reach brown first before i can reach green 
and that's pretty good because I don't. Uh, I'm trying to reach green on code forces, so trying to reach green first. I guess trying to I should reach brown first, and that sounds pretty cool. I mean, brown is a better color than gray, so I guess you know going on ad coder it's better because you know brown's better than gray. But anyway, um, those are pretty much the gist of why I think ad coder is better. You know because. Because the the problems are are more mathematical, they're shorter, and they're also better. And also, I don't think you could hack on AdCoder. I could be wrong though, but um, if you look on AdCoder, I don't think you could actually hack. But let, let me see. Let me see. Let me go on the standings. I could be completely wrong, but I haven't actually gotten gotten hacked from anybody. Yeah, I don't think you could hack. But regardless, that's a good thing about AdCoder because you don't ha you can't hack. But anyway. So it stops it stops you from trying to actually read other people's code or try to destroy other people's code. Um, but that's pretty main the gist of why I think ad code is better than code forces. It's just these statements. Um, but yeah, rate cop subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.